Hey guys, this is Daryl Addison at TorpedoPunt.com. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPunt.com, and you're looking at our uh, Brussels sprouts. We've had them in the planter now for about, I guess, four weeks or so. It's been, when we put it in, it was initially cold, and they've held on pretty well. And we've, we got them as seedlings from, a, uh, from one of our growers. And I think for about 40 plants, we paid about, maybe about, no more than $12, and then there's taxes. We did pretty well. So now we're going to watch them grow. These Brussels sprouts are amazing plants. What's so amazing about them is that you can grow them in a torpedo pot that grows them for you and you don't have to do anything at all. All you do is simply walk them away. Well, we put them in here and I have to tell you, we probably supplemented this maybe about uh, once with a, uh, a 3-12-12 formula of organic materials. And they've been doing just fine. They've been doing really, really good. As you can see, some of our leaves and our cabbage is just taken off also. So what I'm going to do now, I just wanted to cut a couple of leaves off to take a little dead out of the way. Because these are the first leaves when we purchased the plant from our grower. And so removing them is not so much of a problem. Now, the reason why I love this, these plants is because one broccoli plant can produce more vitamin C than four oranges. One bro broccoli plant. Now, so I, when it comes to getting the vitamin C that you need, it, that seems to be really a great thing. And it's so good about it is that as this tends to grow, it'll grow up. And in between the leaves, you'll see the heads of broccoli coming. So we'll be able to see it together. The little head's coming in between the leaves, and that's going to be really amazing. I'm going to really be excited about that. And so it's going to expand and open up. And so this is going to grow, and this is going to really take off. Now, I've never grown this before, so I'm not going to mislead you thinking I'm some type of broccoli expert. No, I've never, I've never grown broccoli um, before in this torpedo box. It's the first time. And so now... One of the reasons why I like the broccoli plant, especially growing in a torpedo pot because it's convenient and you have everything accessible, you can see your bugs. Uh, when you're growing broccoli, it's, it's best to grow it during the, uh, I would say during the, uh, the early season. Yeah, I would do it during the, uh, during the spring season because that's when it goes. It doesn't really like the hotter temperatures. It likes the cooler temperatures. So, you know, going coming out of the early spring is great, or you want to do it sometimes, you know, uh, during the fall is good also. And uh, when it grows, it is so tasty. Now, all of the portions of the plant are edible. The whole plant is edible. So, you know me. I don't want you to think you have to grow what you see in the supermarkets. I want you to be able to forage for your food and have it available 24 hours a day. I'm not waiting until the end to eat my food. Even though it is beautiful, it is an art, it's a spectacle. Every, all of us are different. And we love to grow our plants for different reasons. But with that being said, I'm gonna shape this up right here and get this going. And I'm gonna tell you something, this looks fabulous. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. So I'm just taking these out. Now, these are great uh, leaves. And this looks like it's a little aged. But for the most part, some of these leaves just cook them up in a nice sauce. Some oil and some garlic and, and just, just make it do what it's got to do. Wash them off. Take care of yourself. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. So I'm so excited because I see what's going to happen with these Brussels sprouts. And I know what how they're going to open up and impact everything. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com where we grow your plants with no human intervention. I put these in over four weeks ago and they are growing. Brussels sprouts, uh, Brussels sprouts. And I got it from my, my grower for the price I got it from. And so I will walk away. I'm gonna hit it with a 31212 because they got a huge concentration in here. And if they're providing you with vitamin C, then I've got to make sure they're supplemented to do that. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.